for those of you maybe think that Elon Musk is about to lose billions of dollars because Tesla is in the toilet. Well, actually, that couldn't be further from the truth. Musk SpaceX is doing something completely revolutionary. And like it, love it, or hate it, uh, SpaceX is going to be the world's largest telecom. And it won't even be close. They will have a monopoly on the market that no one will have any chance of rivaling. And it's going to be good for consumers, but not so good for you if you hate one particular person. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Starlink is doing something incredibly intelligent. SpaceX are adding microchips to, well, to every phone to enable you to not have to use whatever service provider you're using. For me here in Australia, it's Telstra. But I would love to get away from that. Every time I travel overseas um, for car events or anything else, I have to get a, an eSIM. Uh, and it's a pain in the butt. And to be honest, here in Australia, there are many, many places where we don't have service. In fact, more than half of Australia has no phone service whatsoever which can be quite stressful. Just things like trying to charge your EV and you've got no phone service and you're trying to download an app on your phone in order to use it, or you're trying to tell the app, yeah, I'm here, work, 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 and the phone is not working, and that could be stressful. For years, rumors of a secret Tesla phone, says not a Tesla app, have captivated the world. And it's true, there is hundreds of millions of views about these rumors of a secret Tesla phone. But Tesla realized that that wasn't a smart play. Actually, rather than taking on Apple and Samsung, why not join them? Those rumors have never substantiated, of course. But now SpaceX president Gwynne Shotwell has revealed the far more ambitious and far more intelligent strategy to revolutionize mobile connectivity, which is just genius. Why bother building a single phone when you can just get your hardware into every single phone? And when I say every single phone, you might be thinking, oh, that's never going to happen. Well, I think it might. Because if you don't have a SpaceX chip in your phone, a lot of people are going to say, I don't want anything to do with that brand because, well, there's some big advantages. Speaking at a space conference, in Paris, Shotwell confirmed that SpaceX is working with microchip manufacturers to embed devices in phones that can directly infiltrate your brain and tell you that Elon Musk is your daddy. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Bad joke. That can directly communicate with its Starlink constellation. So phones will be able to directly use Starlink for reception. I'm using Starlink right now to well, be on the internet and record this and upload this video. For me, it's a game changer. And by the way, if you want, if you don't have Starlink yet, you want to consider it, you can get a month for free if you use my code. I'll put a link in the description below. Anyhow, this is the first clear look at SpaceX's hardware level plan to create a global satellite to cell service, a strategy that will turn your phone in your pocket into a satellite phone. Now, this will also give Musk billions of dollars because no one is in this sector. Yeah, there's some little players, but they have nothing on SpaceX. The core of this strategy is collaboration, not competition, says not a Tesla app. Instead of launching a Tesla branded phone into a crowded market, SpaceX is going directly to the source. We're working with chip manufacturers to get the proper chips in phones, Shotwell said. This approach makes future generations of standard cell phones from all manufacturers natively compatible with the Starlink network. Now, I can tell you, I don't think China will approve this. Uh, there'll be some countries where this will be turned off on your phone. You might be able to hack your phone and turn it on. But there's many countries that don't allow you to use Starlink internet because then they can't block you from 
websites. And there's many governments around the world that love to control the minds of their citizens. And so that they block thousands of websites, including YouTube, including Facebook, like mad level stuff, yeah? So in those countries, I'm going to guess it won't be legal to use Starlink because obviously Starlink doesn't block, doesn't allow governments to block websites. Well, maybe they'll work with them though. I don't know, who knows? So Starlink will become an ecosystem level play that upgrades the capabilities of the entire mobile industry rather than capturing a small slice of it with a niche product. This allows SpaceX to become a mobile service provider in addition to the internet services it already provides to millions of homes. And this market is enormous. The market for mobile phone providers is way bigger than the market that SpaceX is playing in with home internet. This ambitious hardware plan is built upon a recent massive investment. Shotwell's comments come after SpaceX's $17 billion deal to acquire wireless spectrum from EcoStar Corporation. Owning its own spectrum is the play here that actually shows what, what SpaceX has been doing, and it's a game changer. While the company currently has partnerships with T-Mobile in the US and R Rogers in Canada, owning Spectrum allows SpaceX to provide its own offerings independently, changing the dynamic of its negotiations with telecommunications companies all around the world. We will now be initiating discussions with telcos in a different way, said Stillwell. And she outlined this new business model. Now it's our Spectrum but we want to work with them, almost providing wholesale capacity to their customers. This will position SpaceX, not as a direct competitor to mobile carriers necessarily, but as a global capacity provider that can help them eliminate dead zones or increase capacity. In other words, SpaceX will sell their service to every mobile service provider in the world who's interested, and I'm guessing probably most of them will be. Shotwell laid out a concrete timeline for the project during the conference. The project has already passed its conceptual stages and SpaceX is aiming to launch new direct-to-device Starlink satellites within the next 24 months. Following that, mobile phone testing will begin as early as late 2026. And not a Tesla app says this. While the Tesla phone has made for some exciting speculation, the reality is far more disruptive. The strategy isn't to sell another piece of hardware, but to build the foundational infrastructure that connects billions of existing devices to a global network, essentially allowing Starlink to, pay, to get subscription fees from billions of customers. The combination of custom silicon, spectrum, and clear plans to market shows that most companies are hard at work disrupting existing markets, not by creating another product like a car and competing against everyone else in a zero-sum game, but by fundamentally changing the game. This, my friends, will provide enormous wealth to SpaceX. And for those of you who don't like Musk, and I totally understand you, well, Musk owns 42% of SpaceX, which was valued at $350 billion in late 2024. By the time this project is complete, it's likely to be valued at well over two trillion, based on my personal estimates and many others from analysts. That would put Musk's valuation in SpaceX to nearly one trillion alone. Musk doesn't need Tesla for his one trillion dollar payday; he already has SpaceX. Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now, I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.